Man, what's going on? FKI first checking in. We in beautiful New York City with hot new hip hop. Exclusives coming from everywhere. New shit dropping from everywhere. The new good gas. Two chains ASAP first, man. So much. Shout out to Matt Decent. FKI first. Good gas. Let go. Um, when making a solo project, I really feel like you just have to, it's, I'm all about moods. You got to create moods around you, whether it's people, scenery, sounds, instruments, man, you just got to create moods. But when I was like working alone, I like, I like having a, a, a nice, a nice laid back mood. It can be a couple of people, just people who inspire me. I got to have inspiration around me. Somebody that's going to start a conversation and just be like, wow, oh shit, that just struck the most amazing idea. I can't just be stuck around people just talking about the same shit. You gotta have shit that inspires you, just that sparks, that sparks flames, bro. That's, Cause that's really what life is about. Sparks flames, sparking energy. So I like, if I'm, if, if I'm working on my projects, it just has to be good people around me, whether it's one person or three people. Like, just good energy too. Cause it's just, you don't want your brain clouded. You don't, with a, just a lot of dumb shit. When it comes to making a project, I have to listen. I listen to Sizzler, um, Mr. Big. That's a dude from Alabama. He has some. He just, he those those real country tunes right there. I listen to Mr. Big. I listen to Jay Z, of course, Gucci Man. Um, sound wise, George Clinton always inspires me. I feel like when they made music, they didn't give a fuck. So I always try to see. I always try to. I don't know, I try to put myself in their shoes. I mean, mine is all, mine is all the drugs, you know what I mean? I might, I might try some shit, but. <laughs> fuck, fuck rules. Rule, like, rules kind of messed me up when I, when, after I made my first song, like production, the first big song I made, I was going to the studio with other big producers and I'm watching them do what they do. And they were taking a long time. I'm like, damn, this shit taking a long time. Nothing wrong with that. But so I thought I had to take a long time. So it was weird, I, I kind of like held myself back. So I'm like, nah, man, all these other dudes taking long. Let me take long too. Do that, do that. Nah, bro. You take long, you must have been doing something wrong. Yeah, 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 I thought I must have been doing something wrong, which is all mental shit that fucked me up. But nah, bro, just let that shit out. You'll know when it's, when it's right, when it's the right time to come out. Cause it's like all in here. It's like, it's all intuition, bro. I feel like me, people who make music are psychic. Like I'm telling you, like Drake is psychic, Tupac psychic. Bro, he's psychic, bro. I, I'm psychic too, bro. Yeah, for real. Everybody's psychic. I just feel like we don't know it because TV fucks that shit up and all this other shit that gets in the way. It like slows shit down because your body knows when to eat. Your body knows how to do everything. So your body knows right from wrong, what's good and bad. But other shit gets in the way and takes over. You know, you know what I mean? Like one opinion. Yeah, man. Every artist is fucking psychic, bro. I'm telling you. Next to pop out of Atlanta, I would say my homie Street Money Bucci. That's actually Bankroll Fresh's cousin, actually. And um, my homie Zeus, he's from, uh, he's from Kingston, Jamaica. Oh, we know about Zeus. Yeah. Definitely know about Zeus. Yeah. Um, I'm working with this other singing artist named uh, Menelik. He's a new guy. He's from, he's a, it's his African cat. Um, but he's, he's pretty dope. Who else is on it? And then Fat Man, I said Key, right? Fat Man Key is always, is going, Fat Man Key is going to be on everything I always do. We actually have another crazy project, FKI, too. That's amazing and it's hard as fuck, bruh. Hard as fuck. We're probably gonna put one of the songs on the next Good Gas or the next playlist situation I, I, I got going on. I've been thinking about I've, I've been thinking about starting a label and signing me and Key. Damn. <laughs> That's what I've been thinking <laughs> about, bro. Me, That's what I've been thinking about, bro. When it comes to features and songs, well, for one, when I make a song, I could make a song three years ago and like laid it down and everything, and it was maybe just like a melody, but I have a whole plan for it, like. I'll be like, you know what, two changes is gonna get on this later or some I don't or even if some person I might not even fully know yet, but I just be like, when this when the time is right, this is gonna make sense and I'm just talking about Drake is gonna get on this song or something. Yeah. But I like I always think ahead on I always try to think ahead on everything. And um I just want shit to make sense, but not but I want shit to make sense but still can make you uncomfortable. I don't know if that or just just to split it up so it's just not the same. So there's just so many different, so many different like collaborations that we're doing. I feel like the plug, man. I just be plugging random people together to just make magic. But I feel like that's what the key is: is just 
put different people together and create magic, man. The power of collabing is amazing. As long as the, you just gotta, you just gotta, you gotta know who to collab and who not to collab with. See, what happens a lot, like young producers will be like from Atlanta or somewhere and go to LA. See, LA, LA has like a lot of pop producers. Yeah, and you know, yeah. pop producers are, they just make popular music. So they don't even really know, they don't even have sauce. Pop producers don't have sauce. They don't really stretch any limits either. Yeah, they don't stretch limits, they stick to the lines, so you gotta be careful. But they, they're talented though, so they can make music. So there's like a lot of young kids, it happened to me actually, it was a couple years ago, go to LA and all these dudes are rich and they have like some of the biggest songs ever. So you be like, I'm gonna work with them. But they taking your sauce, bro. They stealing everything, they're pop producers, they know how to play shit. Some better than us, everything, than like just hip hop producers, but hip hop producers is where all the sauce come from. Rap period, rap control. Yeah, rap, rap sets the wave around the world, everything. So pop producers, you guys gotta be careful going in places like LA and everything, because you can give your sauce away fully. Like, yeah, you don't wanna do that. Who had, who had your favorite verse off the EP? My favorite verse off the EP, I would say, I want to say Key, I want to say 2 Chains. There's some, good, there's some amazing verses on there, bro. There's some amazing yeah. verses. 2 Chains did snap, but ASAP Ferg snapped too. There's like, there's so many songs. ASAP Ferg really went crazy. I thought 2 Chains was going to want to do his verse over, but he was like, nah, I'm cool. I was, well, I was with each person. Oh, okay. Like I was yeah. with 2 Chains when he did his, and I was with ASAP Ferg when he did his. I just brought them together, you know? But um. But yeah, ASAP Ferg's energy is crazy. He like he started he started in the studio and he was like, no, I'm gonna finish this shit. I'm gonna finish this shit later. This shit gotta be the hardest verse ever, hardest verse ever. And the the shit he's doing on the song, I never heard him doing too many other songs. So I'm like, I appreciate it and like I just I love this energy on it. So shout out to Ferg. But yeah, that song How I Feel is about to go too crazy. That good gas shit, boy. Um, good gas, good gas is good gas. Hopefully. I want to drop. I want to drop it every month, and it's just there's a character to go with. It's Trokey, man. Trokey the Bear. And Trokey the Bear got all the gas. He's from Atlanta. All the gas means all the music, all the good weed. It's everything you need to have a good time, man. All the good music, good vibes, everything. That's Trokey. Trokey the Bear. He pulls up. That's what he got. And Trokey the Bear is going to be delivering the most fire songs every three or four months. And I just want to. I want to have some amazing. I want to make sure the collaborations are crazy from me and Metro or me and Sonny making a beat and whoever raps on it. Just, just a lot of collaborations. Just spread love and show people like how it's done, man. Bankroll Fresh, man, he, he, he inspired. He inspired people. Like anyone could be in the studio with, you, with, with him, even if they're working with him or not. He'll 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 bring out a good detail in you, bro. Like he'll bring something out in you, bro. Like he always told me, like, bro, you need to be rapping, bro. Stop going, stop being so soft on these niggas, bro. Man, go hard on these niggas, bro. Go crazy, bro. He like you like you ain't got that much time. You gotta just keep going, boy. Keep going. This is your this is this is the time, bro. We gonna do this shit. And there's actually this song I I meant to send it to Drake. The song we made. He always wanted Drake on this song. He was like, I don't care if I got paid, bro. Me and bro gonna do this song, man. We gonna do this song. So I just went in and like messed with the beat the other day. And I, I, I hear Drake always, shout, he shout him out um, every now and then on the song. I want him to get on it because he, like, he always wanted that. Literally, he, he, wanted, he wanted to do a song with Drake. He fucked with bro real hard, bro. I'm like, that's, 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 that's dope. But he just inspired, he just inspired, bro. He inspired me to really go crazy on the, on the rap shit. Of course, making beats too, but do what you, do what, do what you want to make you feel happy, bro, you know? Yeah. So it's time for that, man. Yeah, I'm already in. I'm already in 2019, boy. I'm a, 2018 already. Plan, two, 2018 already planned. It already sold up. I planned out 2018 in November, December, 2017, bro. So yeah, I'm on 2019, 2020, bro. It's just a lot of good music, a lot of good gas, a lot of a lot of good everything, man. We're, we're gonna help a lot of people. In a good way, bro. Just all positive shit. Keep that negative shit over there, bro. Keep that flaw shit over there. I'm no longer working with fake people, man. If it, it shit has to be, shit has to be real, or it, it's gonna lead to something that's good and real, bro. So, yeah, man.